Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Will Motivation, back with another video. And today, we are modifying cars in Colombia. We got the Mustang GT right here in front of me. I'm gonna show you guys the work that we're doing on it and the mods that we're doing on it that I promised. So, I got project cars in Colombia. Right now, I have a project car. It's a Mustang GT 5.0 2022. I also have a Subaru WRX, which is a um, 20... 20 it's a project car as well and then we're picking up a 2022 or 2023 wrx as well that's going to definitely be a project car and we are modding them i had a mustang in in, in ohio and i never modified it even though i promised to do that but we're doing it down here in columbia so take a look yes sir as you can see we have already modified the lights took out the old lights and put in these new ones Let's see if you guys close up of the lights took the lights out just took off the bumper as well okay that's the turning them on and off yep Ooh, that looks good yeah that's what the lights on so we got the lights switched out now it took off the bumper <clears throat> right so taking out the bumper and we're replacing it with the gt500 bumper which is right here already they already assembled it i had it painted in the u.s and then had it shipped down here which was which was a learning experience to say the least getting something shipped all the way to columbia that this that's this big like pretty much cargo shipping we, sh we shipped it on a boat crazy so big shout out to um daniel for helping me find the people to make this happen but we shipped this bumper on a boat from miami <laughs> to columbia <laughs> it's almost like they smuggled it in. <laughs> but yeah, we got the bumper sh shipped down here. They just put it together and we're gonna put it on my um, my Ford Mustang GT. And then we'll take it out for a take a look. And then I want you guys to let me know what mods you think we should do next on my 2022 Mustang GT. Okay, so here, so that was the, uh, the Mustang. We're also gonna swap out. I'm gonna do the, the clean rear end on it. Clean that up like I did on my, I did that on my other Mustang, but. All right, so I don't know if I showed you guys my Subaru, but this is my 2020 Subaru WRX. This is my daily down here. And we put a new front end lip on, lip on it, which looks really good. Came out real good. So we'll, we'll get these out in the, in the daylight so you guys can check them out. Yeah, we made it. And these guys made it down here. So we're taking a little detour from the normal content. And uh, my buddy showed up, my brothers showed up you know what i'm saying y'all know this dude always trying to get the camera but yeah we um just picked everybody up from the airport and now we're about to go get something to eat and uh let the december festivities begin Yo. yeah what's, what's so cracking y'all on video leave stuff down here this cracking? must be his boost what's probably what's got some stuff i've got a great tan all right so we got sean here first time in medellin colombia and he's gonna go for a ride with us we're, at, we're over here we're over here watching the Mustang. I'm gonna show it to you guys in a second. The big reveal, you know what I'm saying? GT500 status. But uh, so what are you thinking about uh, Medellin so far? Uh, it's beautiful. Um, what are your impressions? Um, I feel safe. I don't have any, you know, um, any concerns as far as safety. Just, just like anything else, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go to the sketchy areas no matter what. You know, even in your even in your own uh, place where you live, but I tell you what, the food is amazing down here. I'm a foodie, and you can tell like even with like just fruit, it's natural. You don't taste like feel like there's pesticides and stuff that's in it. You know, stuff that is meant to be the way it should be. You know what I'm saying? And um, food is amazing. Restaurants were amazing. Um, service is amazing. But you know they drive a little different down here, though. You know, for those who want to know how they drive, it's it's yeah, they drive a little different heart, down you know here. What I'm yep. So we're about to go for a ride in the Mustang and the Subaru w WRX. Show you the mods that we've done so far on the Mustang. I have my Mustang GT. Sean actually had a Mustang uh, GT as well, but I had mine for years and years, and I and I never modded it. I mean, I did some super slight modifications to it. But we're starting to mods on this one. I told you guys we would. And so, yeah, stay tuned for that. Now here we 
we got Sean out here. We got Pipe, <laughs> Felipe out here, Kata's brother. He's out here, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's in the Subaru. So, all right, so let's talk about the mods on the Mustang real quick. So we've started the mods. They're cosmetic mods so far. And we have the the rear GT Delete. So from a, from behind, you don't really know what it is. But here's the big thing, GT500. I clickbaited y'all a little bit because no, we did not buy a GT500 here, but what we did do is the GT500 bumper on the Mustang. All right, there it is. What do you guys think? Do we keep this or go back to the factory bumper that was on the car originally, or do we keep the GT500 bumper? Y'all let me know what y'all think. There's a couple little imperfections in it that I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. There's like gaps. There's like a gap right there in between the light where the light goes in and there's a gap right here. It's a little worse on this side. Got a little gap right there, but I think it looks good. But I don't know, with a brand new car, it kind of irks me that it's not perfect. We, and we also did the headlights. So what do you, what do you guys think about the headlights? I'll put a link to the headlights in the description of this video in case anybody else wants to get some. But um, I like it, but I think I would prefer that it was perfect. So I'm thinking about putting the original bumper back on and doing the grill delete in the front bumper um, to blank out the grill. Now that we got the different lights on here, I like these lights, they're a little more aggressive in the front. What you think? Yeah. You like the original bumper or you like the aftermarket? You like this one better? Yeah. All right, so so Sean likes this one better. What do y'all, drop me a comment, man. I need to know. We're gonna wrap this car, um, we're gonna wrap this car Nardo gray. So I need to figure out, and we'll throw some wheels on it, some black wheels. We're gonna paint the calipers red. So y'all let me know what you think before we wrap it about the bumper. You like that? The little LEDs. This gap is killing me though. That gap is killing me. It's like a known issue with these bumpers. I do, I mean, I like it, but I'm not so, I'm not 100% on, on it yet. I definitely like the, the rear GT delete, but we, we uh, paint matched the bumper before I shipped it down here to Columbia. I think it looks pretty good. All right, so let's let's get the span. Oh, so in case y'all want to see the Subaru, so this is my daily driver down here, the Subaru WRX 2020 in World Rally Blue. I'm letting Daniel drive it. He's having a time of his life. He's a taxi driver, so he, he's pretty familiar with everything down here. So I'm trusting him, but uh, he's not ready to drive a Mustang yet. <laughs> Uh, we're going to chill on that. It's got the Magnaflow exhaust on it, but it's super quiet. So any of you Subaru guys out there that know how to make this louder, I'm thinking about like cutting out, I think there's a silencer in this in the exhaust system. I'm thinking about cutting that out. But if y'all know how to make this louder, let me know. I'm not going I'm not going to do too many mods on it just yet because um like I said this is a, this is my daily. It's not like you know, I got a I got another I got another surprise coming. We got a project car coming down here. So let's talk about that. So, so you Subaru fans out there, got the Subaru behind me. Uh, we have a project car coming, so stay tuned. So the project car should be here um, this coming week. It's a Subaru, uh, 2022 Subaru WRX. And we are immediately, we're gonna mod it for sure. We're gonna do like the, the rear wing, the SCI wing. We're gonna do, we're gonna wrap it. Um, maybe even put wheels on. So we're gonna really mod that thing out. This one I'm gonna leave alone for the most part. So we'll have the Mustang down here, the WRX 2022, and then the Daily. So we'll have some cars to play with down here for the channel. But uh, yeah, y'all let me know for sure what y'all think about this bumper. Should we keep the bumper on here? So we're gonna take you guys for the rest of this ride. And also, we got did a little excursion. So if you guys ever come down to Medellin, Colombia, and you wanna do an excursion, hit up Daniel. I'm gonna put his information in the description of this video. 
where um, we, we're gonna do four wheelers with Sean and my homies that came down here to visit. They're um, they're actually at home right now watching a football football game here on a Sunday. But yeah, y'all let me know what you think about the mods on the uh, 2022 Mustang GT 500 replica. <laughs> GT 500 replica. Maybe that's what the the title of the video should be. But um, I'm I don't know, man. I might I might put the original bumper back on. I think I could sell this one down here for for a nice, pretty penny. Cause there's some angles on this that don't don't quite look right to me, for real, for real. But y'all let me know in the comments, man. Should we keep this GT500 bumper on it? What do y'all think about it? A um, little bit about this. This is the Icon Motorsports bumper. Um, you can get them on eBay, and then have them paint match to your vehicle color for about 900 bucks uh, shipped. But then I had to um, ship it to Columbia, which cost like uh, 300 bucks. We found a place that's like smuggled it in here. <laughs> but yeah, so I, if, you, if you're interested in this, drop me a comment, let you know, you know, you can get it on eBay, it's Icon Motorsports. But there's some angles to it that, I don't know, man, makes it doesn't quite look natural. So I might throw the original bumper back on and do the little, the front grill delete where take the Mustang out and then uh and then wrap it nardo so this is felipe's motorcycle it is a six fifty so it's a six fifty this is kawasaki e r six look at the look at the color scheme on it. it's dope so he's like giving us the tour he 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 recommended that we come up here this is nice check this out so felipe we're gonna feature him in a video he's got his girl on the back looking crispy Ooh, vlog. Como se llama este plato? Bandeja, con chicharrón. bandeja con chicharrón so it's like the colombian dish with like big thing of bacon okay Como se llama? a soup of like a bean soup with a bunch of stuff in it. Look at it, it looks good. All right, so we about to have a food vlog and Sean got some empanadas of, with beef and potatoes. Show them the inside of the empanada. So it's like beef and potatoes on the inside of it. All right, so you're gonna let us know how it tastes. Good. This is the real Colombian food. Eso se considera comida colombiana. De verdad. See? All right, cool. Buen provecho. Nardo. Que se quite que está dando el video. Hey. Que se está dando el video, Marisa. Nardo gray right there. We'll do the, uh, the, um, the mirrors black, the roof black. Car, Nardo. So I just dropped off the Mustang GT 2022. We're going to wrap it. I told you guys we were doing mods. We're going to wrap it. Uh, Nardo gray with some black touches this should look sick so it'll be done in about a week so we'll be back we out here what's up youtube it's your boy will motivation with the crew we got d Meezy in here we got we got sean out here we got poop back there foot and i'm talking about peters reg all right so what are we doing today we're out here with the dog vlog so we came out here to adopt the dog today hi dog it's the dog we adopting right here. His name is Sparky. Now nah, we out here riding Quattrimotos today. About to get it in. I'm looking for the fastest one. I'm about to go ahead and pick mine out before everybody else try to get on theirs. But yeah, we got the Subaru out here. Bam. And yeah, we about to get it in. So we're gonna take y'all with us for this little adventure up here at the uh, 4x4 place in Medellin, Colombia. Hello. 
man. What you looking for? It, it's 450. 450. 450. No, it don't say. Yeah, does that dude. say 450? Yes. Oh. Bye. Oh, you got the fast one. That's too much for him, bro. Right. That's another one up there. That's another 450 Come back here. here. Okay. You have a stop for pictures and videos too, okay? So, that's it. Here is like a class. It's two, two laps in here. For you paint the ATV, the brakes, everything. Okay. We got a group of about eight plus plus uh, our guides. Check out this mountain drop. So if you want to do something fun when you come out to Columbia, four wheelers. Yeah, they over here checking in. Look at that view. Just hit it, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, cinematic mode. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it in. This dude got the 450 back there. Four. Yeah, the 450. We got three. They got three fifties. I don't know what. I don't know what I got. I'm getting cute. Up here. <laughs> I got the black label. <laughs> I got the black label leftover. Get the key up. All right, so we're about to roll out. I got the slowest Joan out here. This time. Stop number two. You good? You good? Oh, yeah. And he's sure. trying to pass cats. Sure. He's just trying to pass because he got a 450. He got a 450, yeah, so they think he's going to pass cats. Yeah. I see Sean picked up the pace. Yeah. yeah. He picked up the pace. Up. You're doing better, but you're mooning everybody with your uh, plumber's crack. <laughs> oh, they got the cows out here. Hey, let's get a picture with the cow. Let's get a picture with the cow, man. We do a thumbnail with the cow. do it, baby. Out here with the perfect weather. This is like a um, a flower farm or something out here. This is where they live good out in the country. Everybody thinks Colombia is like Escobar and drugs and all that and violence, but it's actually. So, what's your impressions of Colombia so far? Has it been dangerous? No. Anybody try to kill you or anything like that? Nope. This is the most dangerous part right here. <laughs> <laughs> <This is it. laughs> they're running, they're running water line and piping. That's a long line right there. That's crazy. They over here, t they over here talking to the cows. Oh, watch out for the crap, donkey dude. The water line gonna be flavored. <laughs> <laughs> flavored water. Yeah, that cow was hungry. Yeah, let me get it. Well, he's feeding the cow. <laughs> That's dope. I'll this fingers up. Ty. I might as well get a handful, get one in, get some in. That's dope. There you go. We feeding cows out here in Colombia. landed to the destination it's a uh, trout farm so we parked the motorcycles over there the four-wheelers now we're gonna eat some fresh fish for lunch some fresh trout you can actually go fishing right here oh right here yep yeah, this is a yes sir so you can see the trout coming out coming through the chute i'm about to wash my phone off let me take y'all with me Hand catch. <laughs> you got dive. You gotta go diving for them. You gotta go. You gotta dive. They right there. They were they tripping, huh? 
if there's some chicks in there you go got you on video saying that all right let's go see what's going on in here you know what i'm saying like uh so if you guys want to do this tour atv tour you can definitely do it i'll put the contact information for my driver daniel he can take you up here Found a VIP spot up here. Who's fishing? Watch, well, you gonna catch something much. All right, so we're getting ready to start the food ball. They, we watching the fishing derby out there. Kids out there. <laughs> oh, look a little poop. Look. All right, go ahead and explain your, your dish, man. Food vlog. Rice. He said he has no idea. Plantain, platano, and trout. And it's a trout farm right there. I'm about to get it in. Yeah. We got the fries, I just need some lemon. Same. I need some lemon. This is the re what remains of the food vlog. Destroyed my trout. Left a little head for y'all to <laughs> check out. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> how you enjoy your food, man? It's good. Hey, how you enjoying the uh, RS5? Good, good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you hit the pedal to the metal yet? No, <laughs> not really. I'm not a fast guy. Not... Man, you play video games, man. You got to treat that car like it's a video game. Y'all drop a and comment. I crashed a lot. I crash a lot of video games. Oh, snap. Never mind. So, About to get back on the um, the quads <laughs> on our way out. Lunch was good. How you going, little homie? How you on a mission? Bathroom is back, back that way, right there. Yeah, we back. Look, he's trying to, hey, look, his, his dust got his beard. It, it turned that junk gray, brown as gray. <laughs> he said it's just for men ran out. Uh, gracias. All right, let me show y'all the, the name of this place real quick. In case y'all wanted to come here and do an excursion outside of Medellin and Guarani. Let me show it to you real quick. Adventure Trails Medellin. That's it right there. Here's the uh, Quatri Tours underscore Medellin. Medellin Adventure Trails on Facebook. That's the phone number. Go ahead and take a picture. Yeah. Look at this. What are those? <laughs> 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 